Hello everyone. In this video I'll show you how to set up Lyim Pro. This is a mouse and keyboard converter for Android. If you'd like to play shooting games or any FPS game using mouse and keyboard, let's start by taking a closer look at the design of the item. The build is solid without any crackling sound. When compared with previous models it is very unique. I have the M1 Pro, Mix Elite and M3 in the table. The best feature is it has three reversible USB ports, located in the left and right side. Here is the usual USB port from M3. Here is the comparison side by side. This is my first time seeing this reversible USB port. To prove my point I'll show you an example. This is my keyboard USB plug. Have you seen something like this before? Comment down below. Moving on. We have the USB-C port at the top, for power supply and wired mode. Now let's check out the fancy lights. This has RGB colors that cannot be adjusted. You can only turn it on, off if you're not into dashing lights. To turn off the lights just press the button once. To completely turn off the converter press the power again. The red flashing light means wired mode. The green or yellow flashing lights means Bluetooth mode. I haven't tried however the blue flashing light might be for iOS. I don't have iOS to try this sad face. Now let's set up the converter. Download the app from the link down below. Choose the global version first as it has English language. The foreign app from FT Mobile is updated however the language is Vietnamese. Once you have installed the app, go to the settings of your phone. Enable developers option and find this options. For Xiaomi devices this might pop up when USB debugging is enabled. Enabling all these options might lessen the security of your phone. Keep this in mind, reason I highly suggest to have a spare phone. Moving on, let's activate the Gamwing app. This is called the activation port. Plug a cable in this port. You can use your cable charger or the free cable in the box. This is the website to download the app. This version was released on January 2024. However, the guns in PUBG, BGMI is updated. The latest updated app is made and customized by YouTuber called FT Mobile. I'll fast forward the installation of the app. Once done, let's proceed with activating the app. Go to your phone settings and enable developers option. Every phone brand has their own ways of enabling developers option. Once done, find the developers option and enable to options. Follow the video for your reference. Prepare the USB Type-C to Type-C cable. Assume that we will use wired connection mode. Connect it to the right port and connect the other end to your device. This notification will always pop up. Grab your USB -er to Type-C cable. Connect the USB -er to the extra port in the converter. Connect the other end to your device but remove the existing cable. Once plugged in, another pop-up will keep on showing in the screen. Allow this all the time for the app to work properly. Follow the video so you won't experience any issues. Prepare to plug in all the necessary wires in the corresponding ports. Mouse and keyboard can be in any size.
Lastly, this to cables for wired mode. Please note that this delivers charge to your device. Charging your device while playing extensive games will ruin your battery. You can opt using Bluetooth mode instead. Open the app and enable this pop-up. It will detect the converter we are using. Once you have activated the app, you have to grant all the permission here. Once granted, it will turn green. Make sure you don't miss any settings to avoid any issues. Let's go back to the lobby. Here you can add multiple games. Add all the games you like to play by tapping on it. If you're not happy with the games you have chosen, there's always option to remove it like your ex. Here you'll notice a floating icon at the top left corner of the screen. When you tap on this icon, it will show some options. The first option will show you the key mappings you have saved. You can use default key mappings prepared for you. If you have customized controls or HUD, you can create your own key mapping. The next option is editor mode wherein you can add keyboard or mouse keys. Copy my own key mappings for your reference. Feel free to take a screenshot or pause the video. In this section, it's easy as a piece of cake. Adding and deleting key mapping is my favorite part. Once you have added your preferred key, you can move it anywhere, as long as it is in the screen. Tap the corresponding key mapping to configure the button. The options are complex and detailed. Experiment is the best learning curve when using a converter. You can always undo the adjustments you have made. This user interface is not for newbies out there, so better to have the cheap converter first. I'll upload my key mapping with configure buttons on my next video. For the recognition mode, this is the AI feature. Place the corresponding recognition to your controls on screen. This will help the app to provide appropriate recoil adjustment. For example, you're in the crouch stance and change to prone. The number will change depending on your stance and if you're aiming or not. The app also recognizes the gun, accessories and scope that you're using in the game. Here I'm showing the basic settings of the app. This converter also supports 1000 Hz for extra smoothness. Once you're all done with minor tweaks and adjustments, hit save and enjoy the game. For newbies out there I will show tips and tricks for this converter. If this helps you kindly subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions comment it down below. Thank you for watching see you on my next videos.